So in the last video, we overcame Manchester City in the Champions League. We thought we were clean sailing through to the final. Then the draw came out and we are having to face off against their, in this football manager world, their better rivals in Manchester United, the team that knocked us out in the semi-finals last year. Can we knock them out? Can we then become favourites for the competition? It's all to play for in this episode. Hi everyone, Jake here. Welcome to another episode of Wolfsburg Warriors. As I said in the intro, it's Manchester United today in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. This series, this season is getting closer and closer to the end. Uh, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, if we knock Man U out here, we'll have a look at the rest of the teams in a minute. But I'd argue we maybe become favourites for the whole thing. We've stormed the Bundesliga and we've actually already won it. So there's nothing to look at in the league front. This is all now down to the Champions League and also the Pokal, of course. We can't forget that. But the Champions League is our priority. And today could be the biggest step we've ever made in trying to win the competition. Before we get into it, though, I'd like to ask you guys, as I always do, so forgive me for saying again, but if you could like the video, it really does help. You guys who are there liking every single video that comes out, it means so much. It really does help the channel and you're all legends. And even if you don't, if you're just watching, I very much appreciate it to be this point in the series. Yeah, it's cool that you stuck around. Um, comment down below what you think is going to happen in today's episode or what you had for lunch today. Anything. I like interacting with you guys. Always nice to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell if you haven't already. We've been a bit more consistent with uploads recently and that is because there hasn't been too many games between each episode, which gives me a chance to catch up and make sure everything is going well. You last saw us beat Manchester City. We follow that up with five consecutive wins. It's been a season of nearly greens in every single month. We've been purely dominant this season. So, so good. So Playing so well. I, I can't really describe it. The only loss all season coming against Bayer Leverkusen. Even in the Champions League, no losses on the way yet. Only a draw against Manchester City. Um, but yeah, Man U, as you can see here, alongside some Bundesliga wins, we beat Man U 1-0 in the first leg at home. Obviously, Old Trafford is a different kettle of fish, but we will look at the goal from that game in a minute. But all is definitely still to play for as we go away to Manchester. But yeah, the Bundesliga is the thing I want to start with, because as you can see, we've won plenty of games. We have Dortmund left in the Pokal and then a team which should be easier than them. So this is really the final for the Pokal. Of course, Leverkusen did beat us though, so he could be on for a quadruple, but the Bundesliga has been won. It makes it a double for the season so far, way ahead of Dortmund, way ahead of anyone else in the chasing pack. Bayern doing a bit better this year, but we have stormed the league. We've played so well. There isn't too much more to say other than we've been pretty much invincible and no one is even near our level, uh, not even close. I mean, 20 points difference between us and second place, and there's still plenty of games to go. The Champions League, though, I did mention that we could potentially become favourites if we win this game, and I think I stick by that. If we're looking at the other teams in the competition, bear in mind we've already knocked out Manchester City. They were second in the Premier League. They are now top, so arguably, with the Premier League being the most reputable league in football manager in this current simulation, and Man City being at the top of that, we've knocked them out. If we now knock out Manchester United as well, we're left with some clubs that are very close to them, don't get me wrong but I, I think we'll be in a very good position from there on out. We have, of course, if we knock them out, got the likes of Chelsea left in the competition. It looks like PSG will likely be left high and dry. We have got Valencia and Liverpool, which looks like with a second leg at Anfield, that one's probably over. And then Benfica, Real Madrid with Benfica. Currently surprising everyone, but I don't think they'll keep it up over the second leg. But I'd love to be surprised. We have had the rest of the draw made, so we know who we're going to play and it's not the one we probably would have wanted because we are going to play the winner of Chelsea and PSG. Um, so you could say, really, we've avoided two teams in Liverpool and Real who will probably play each other and then we'll play one of them in the final. But I, I wouldn't have wanted Chelsea. I wouldn't have minded PSG, but Haaland is something special. But who knows? We'll see what happens. Let's not get ahead of ourselves too much just yet. But so far, so good. Let's have a look at the Manchester United game and the goals from that match. It was Benjamin Sesko who gave us the win. We dominated, I would say. I think I'm pretty confident in saying we did do that. Looking at the average ratings and especially the statistics over here, it's pretty clear we dominated. We arguably should have got another goal and put the tie to bed. We dominated them chances-wise and possession-wise, and it would have been nice to have finished everything off. But let's quickly check out the goal from Sesco. I don't remember it being anything completely crazy, um, but it's something. We got the win. Everyone is now pretty much back fit, which is great news for us. We are on top form. And yeah, this this is just, it's shaping up 
to be maybe the most important episode of this series so far. Great ball through to Baku. Baku pulls it back. Makoko gets it tackled away from him, but Sesko is in there to finish off, and we held on to that lead for the whole game. Baku got man of a match. He created loads of chances for us, and on another day, we could have won by a lot more than what we did here. I've just realized that we're actually not at the Man U match, so let me quickly skip ahead to that date. Okay, it's just coming up to game day, and I just saw we're about to see the results from two of the other games, so we're about to find out potentially who we could be playing further down the line if we make it to a final, which based on our performance against Man U in that first leg, you suggest we should make it here. But I just wanted to point out Mataya Rezla, three star, five star current ability. Look at those physicals for an 18 year old. He is dangerous as dangerous gets. He could have 20 acceleration by the end of this simulation. And I don't think I've seen that more than like twice. And here we go. Benfica did knock out Real Madrid. And Liverpool knocked out Valencia. It was actually a close one from Valencia. They did pretty well. But it looks like it's going to be a Benfica-Liverpool semi. So you would assume it will be a liverpool um, us final if we make it that far, of course. Let's just class us as going through, which we might not. But let's just assume if we did get there, it will be Liverpool. But if it was Benfica, I would certainly take that. I think we could wipe the park with Benfica. Not to uh, make too light of them, but I think we really would. I think we'd be brilliant. But let's go and pick our team for this game. So here's what the quick pit's given us. And I think so far it's all looking pretty good. Baku, Lacrog, Vardial, and Nets is what I would have had. Nico, Bellingham, Kessie, Wurtz, Sesko, Makoko. Um, our ideal 11 is fully fit. We've got the likes of Shawameni, Piccoli, Rezla, Kozlowski, and Lurtz on the bench to give us some options if we need it. I am actually going to take off our backup goalkeeper and make sure that we have Arnold in there. And I think that's everything that I want to do. I think I'm happy to go in this game. Hopefully we come out with a win. Um, everyone cross your fingers. This is a big moment for this series. If we win this, suddenly we start thinking about the end and the end coming up with a Champions League final and a Champions League semi-final, of course. Let's not forget that on the potential horizon. Okay, I'm, um, I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. Who knows what's going to happen here? But look at Man U's team. I would say they've got a lot of superstars. I can't lie. But that's what they had in the first game. Although I'm not sure I remember Mbappe playing in that first leg. Maybe we kept him quiet. Maybe we were fine. But look at that side. Uh, other than this guy who knocked us out of the semi-finals last year, who we're not even going to mention his name. Not because of that, because he's an absolute... Just, I can't say the word, but he's, you, you, know, you guys know exactly what he is. He is not someone that I want in this simulated world. But of course, we started this long before he would have been kicked out by FM. So uh, he is here for now, unfortunately. But here we go. The first highlight of the game after six minutes. And it is Manchester United who are going to have a completely different approach to the game now that they're at home they'll actually come at us try and challenge us which they did not do when they are away from home at all and you could argue their game plan worked pretty well only losing one nil away from home um, and now they come into this leg with a chance to win his but uh, i was going to say bellingham sancho that's not his name Jaden sancho mbappe this is going on for far too long mbappe across the box sancho heads it over the former bundesliga player lets us off the hook there because that was a great chance to get a goal to be honest i thought with the length of the highlight and the build-up play, it was going to end up in a like a goal. It, it, we're just very happy that it didn't. Uh, but that Man U team is completely stacked, isn't it? They've got like some of the world's best players in each position there, and they've got Harry Maguire on the pitch. So that is a little bit of a lifeline for us. No offence, Harry, if you are watching. But we do have a highlight now after 20 minutes, and it's us on the ball. And we're playing the kind of football that usually leads to a highlight. We don't usually lose the ball in these kind of positions, which could be jinxing it but we kind of like to play through the press quite well. Here is Wurtz. You can just see he's building it up from defence and defensive midfield to defensive midfield and midfield to midfield and the strike force. And here's Kessie into the box. This could be a massive moment if we can get a goal here. Luca Nets, ball in. Jude Bellingham, Benjamin Sesko. We've done it. After I say we've done it. We, we've definitely not done it, but we've got the first goal. And that is massive in a game like this. 2-0 on aggregate after 20 minutes. Some of you guys did question why I picked Piccoli. For the last match, I did try and explain he was in great form. Sesco, not so much. But since that and since leaving him out, we're not dropping Sesco anymore. He scored two goals, two massive goals. He's in a target forward role. He's not expected to score that many, but he's been doing a great job for us. And yeah, uh, he's a guaranteed starter for the Champions League final. If we get there, I should not get this far ahead of myself, but I'm just really confident this year. I and mean, it looks like it will be Chelsea uh, that we face in the semis because at half time, it's 1 1 there, or nearly half time which means it's 4-1 on aggregate to Chelsea against PSG, um, which is quite worrying because they must be a good team if they can beat PSG 3-0. But then I don't know how good PSG are in this simulated world anymore. But going into half time, could we make it 3-0? This is looking good. Baku to Sesko. I thought he was offside, but it looks like he might not be. 
pulls it back for Jude Bellingham. It's counted. We are 2 0 up away at Old Trafford, 3 0 on aggregate. Now I can probably say it is game over and we start looking ahead and planning like I haven't been doing that already. But um, yeah, this is brilliant. What a move this was. Baku has been so key here with us since day one, creating chances. Brilliant target forward uh, with play by Benjamin Sesco. Pulls it back and it's a great finish from Bellingham for his 10th of the season. He's been a great signing for us and I'm sure he will serve Wolfsburg well for the future. Let me know in the comments as well. When this series does eventually end, do you want to see like a five year, 10 year in the future video where we see how the teams got on, see how the players have got on, see if any of these guys have developed into, I mean, they're already mega stars in my eyes, but you know, actually become like uh, golden ball winners or whatever you want to call it. What's it? Ballon d'Or, not golden ball. And um, I think that'd be quite interesting. We've done it with a few saves in the past and you do find a lot of cool things. A lot of the times your clubs just completely collapse. What a goal by Florian Wirtz. We're 3 0 up at Old Trafford. We've put them to the sword. Like I said, we've knocked out Manchester City, top of the Premier League. Um, we've then gone and knocked out Manchester United by the looks of it, completely smashing both teams. And now we're facing Chelsea, who aren't even as high as them in the Champions in the Premier League, should I say. What a finish that is. What great play between Wurtz and Nets. The two Germans combining. But I'm just I'm super confident now. If we can beat if we can beat Man U like this and we can beat Man City, surely we can beat Chelsea as well. It's not going to be another one, is it? mokoko has been quiet. Maybe it's time for him to get a goal. His Florian Wurtz dancing around the defence. Pulls it back to Baku. Wurtz in. Sesco with a header just over the bar. We are dominating Man U here. I feel like they've probably given up at this stage. Um, XG suggests we should be nowhere near being 3 0 up, but that's just the form we're in right now. Rashford off the post. Dodo, Baku. I don't know what just happened. But Castiles has managed to get the ball and we come away with it. We don't concede. Can we keep a clean sheet across two legs against Man U? That would be very impressive. But it is a Man U highlight building up. I, I'm not even worried about the comeback, even if they did score right now, because it's just too big of a gap. Nothing to worry about right now. But it isn't even anything to worry about because we're counterattacking on their chance. Although now they're counterattacking back. <laughs> Who knows in football manager? You never know what's going to happen. But here's Kessie, Nico, Sesco. We've won it. Great ball over. makoko has been quiet, but he only needs one chance. And there it is. He's finished. It's a great ball in from Sesco, who's having a stormer of a game. Makoko quiet, hasn't been seen at all. One touch, goal. That's how he plays. That's how I like him. Um, and it just works so well. He is that advanced forward for a reason. He's dangling on the edge of the defence. You see the run there. One touch, another touch. Tucks it under the goalkeeper. That's what you want him to do. You can be as quiet as you want if he's going to score goals like that. This is, a, this is far more dominant than I ever expected that we'd get. This is way better than I thought we'd play in this match. And no, don't tell me we're going to score another. Sesco's holding it up. He has lost the ball. For a minute, I thought we might be able to get a 6-0 on aggregate, which would be crazy. But here, it looks like this might be Man U's goal. It's Mbappe, Leon Bailey, Bruno Fernandes, Dodo. Kessie, don't get sent off. That is a worry, actually. I might sort that out in a second. Let's get Kessie off a shower many because I just got worried for a second. He might try and get himself sent off. And I don't want that. So he's off the pitch. Let's save him. Who else is tired? We should probably have thought about subs a little earlier. Let's get Kozlowski on. And Baku. They look like they're kind of dealing with this chance. I don't really know what's happening anymore. I and mean, it's still going. But I'm just looking at players to save. Maybe Luka Nets. Man, you have hit the post. And they're not going to end up with a goal from that. Which is great news for us. But I'm going to bring on Daviv. Four nets, who also looks tired. And then I'll just go to tactics and switch the two over. Perfect. Gavardio is a great player to have in that left back role. So we'll take that. That's a team that can just walk this game away now. And we're not worrying too much about anyone getting injured. I might even go to the less intense tactic. I've done it, right? We'll go to less intense tactic, save a bit of energy. Let's not get any injuries or any... Oh, Nico. What a goal. What a curling. Oh my God. Nico curls it into the far corner. Dean Henderson is hopeless. Wurtz passes it on to him. Nico just poof, sets it up. You saw it was going in a long time before it did. How impressive is this? 5-0 away at Old Trafford. We are sending a message to everyone in this competition. Chelsea, you can beat PSG 4-0, can you? Well, we can beat Man U 5-0 away from home. I, I did not expect anything like this, guys. Nothing of the sort. But we've just been fantastic. I mean, XG is really harsh on Man U. We've beat them 5-0, but Man U are smashing us on XG with loads more chances and loads more shots on target. This just might be our year. I don't know how we're winning 5-0 with an XG of 1.3. I have no clue. And that feels a bit, bit wrong, though, because we have had a lot of chances from close range and decent positions. Dodo goes in now. 
Rashford with a header, Mbappe gets a touch on and he gets his customary goal. We do lose our clean sheet, but at the end of the day, we're not playing intense football anymore. Mbappe is killing Mbappe after all. He's going to get a goal at some point. You just can't really do anything about that. But what a game. What a performance. Bye bye Manchester United and hello, the new big boys in town, Wolfsburg, are through to the semi-final. Both amazing performances across both legs. The first leg, we were amazing but not clinical. The second leg, we were, based on statistics, maybe not that great, but we were clinical as anything. Look at us go. We are in to the Champions League semi-final. We're facing off against Chelsea, who have made it through. Liverpool, Benfica. We've knocked out Manchester City. We've knocked out Man U. We're going to need to beat another English club and then maybe even a fourth English club if we can make it to the final and Liverpool do as well. But um, that, that is really impressive. Very happy with that. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. I think that's the best performance we've had on camera, not just in this save, but in FM22. We've completely wiped the floor with them. I'm super impressed. Like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in a few days with the next episode. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.